Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Waramai First Nations people on whose traditional lands these videos are made and welcome to you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies. Entertainment only, just a legal requirement. Um, using my Light Seers Tarot today, I want to have a look at uh, Boris Nadezdin. I'm sure I've pronounced that incorrectly. Uh, so Boris uh, put his nomination forward to run in the presidential election against uh, inverted commas Putin, because I'm dubious whether it's still Putin. Um, apparently information came, apparently he was knocked back, told that he didn't qualify uh, due to alleged irregularities in the number of signatures he received. So apparently you have to get 100,000 signatures of people who say they will support you um, before you're allowed to run. And uh, the uh, election commission or whoever they like to call themselves were claiming that around 4,000 of those signatures were actually handwritten, not signed. Yeah, everybody signs, but anyhow, whatever. Um, so apparently there's, there's, I believe, three or four running for the role of uh, president president of Russia. One is Putin, two are Putin's minions, and I'm not sure who the third is. I, have, uh, I haven't looked to see who the fourth is, so I'm hoping it's the... Um, the lady that I read on a while back, but I just want to see if Boris is going to be safe given his um, position. He's very anti-war in Ukraine. He's pro-aligning with the EU. Uh, he very, very nearly got close enough to running. Uh, there's a bit of, okay, I'm going to say gerrymandering from, from the feels of it. But is Boris going to be okay? Is Boris Nad Nadistan going to be okay. Just show me, is he going to be safe given they are in a time of huge flux, Russia, at the moment. The Russian mothers and wives are starting to become quite vocal. Uh, I gather there's been protests. There's massive food shortages. Uh, just very... Uh, well, it takes a lot to make the to make the Russians revolt, but the peasants are revolting for want of a term. Let's have a look. This virus is going to be okay. I've got him standing on a podium alongside Zelensky, Navalny. This the woman that's put her name down to run. I don't know whether she qualified as well. There's like a team of about. What can I see? One, two, three, four, five. There's about eight of them up on this. Up on this um, stage type thing, and they're all got their hands up, joined like a victory. Okay. Is he going to be safe? Let's have a look. Yeah. Yep. Big yes. Ace of Cups. Emotional new start. Relationships new start. Emotional cleansing. That's a yes card. Yeah, he's got his support, his circle of support. He is supported. He's bringing forward an alternative. It's the Page of Swords almost over the other side of this chasm that has been Putin's reign. He's bringing forward new ideas. Love the book here. I don't know what his background is, whether he's uh, a university lecturer or teacher or a um, lawyer or something to those degrees, but he's bringing new ideas forward for the new reign or the new era is what I'm getting there. I won't say reign because there won't be a king or an emperor or whatever. Just the new era. And he's, they're so close to the other side, but they're not quite there yet. He's been restricted in the past. He's been stopped from running due to, um, well, dubiousness. But crowning the reading is the, exiting from the darkness and the celebration. 
these are good cards for him. Um, at the moment, a lot of anxiety. However, you've got the white raven here that is dispelling all this darkness. This is the anxiety. This is the despair. This is the sleepless nights and worry of the people of Russia. Not all of them, because some of them are Putin supporters, but of uh, the mothers and the wives and the daughters. But this white raven is coming to dispel. So he is seen as one of these white ravens. There's a number of them externally. Yeah, this is moving on, packing packing up the truth and honesty and, and wisdom uh, and moving forward only with what is necessary because it's new era time. Absolutely, exposure of the truth so that it can be seen and let go and stepping over into the new beginning. There's a lot of swords coming out here, which is to do with uh, intellectual, mental health, truth and honesty. Yeah, the first one was a cup, a new emotional beginning. Is he safe? How's he going to go? Love, hopes and fears is the star of hope and healing. He has a dream. And he is holding on to that dream. The outcome, complete something completely out of left field coming forward where there's a lot of um, goodness coming together. It feels so soon. And then walking towards, leaving behind the emotions of the past that are not part of the future and walking towards his new future. We've got two walking into this new sunrise. We, uh, there's a lot of grief going on in Russia at the moment. He's bringing a powerful message. He's uh, setting up some boundaries. Do not cross line in the sand. New messaging brought forward that he is lighting with a passion and he's standing defiantly behind that his messaging. He's got a team behind him that are working um, but it's just not quite there yet. Not quite there yet. He's been stopped. He's got a lot to bring forward, but he's been stopped as Russia is at this take the blindfold off and make a decision, difficult decision moment. Uh, he's, he's, he's keeping safe. He's keeping safe. Before too much longer, he will come down and start on this path of destiny. <clears throat> Stepping up and taking control. The sun card. We do have the need to retreat, but then movement forward. Powerful relationships and bringing forth of protection and security and stability and a new financial beginning. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, I think Boris is going to be okay. I, I just feel that this, it's literally at the tip of my tongue, uh, Putin, Putin uh, being officially demised, uh, unalive, to quote Laurie, I believe, uh, and the same with Trump. It's just literally right there in the uh, history of their lives. So let's see, keep an eye, a uh, huge, huge love out to all those involved. I believe Christine was the woman's first name. I can't remember her surname. I'm, I didn't look it up, but Christine, Boris, Nav Alexei Navalny, uh, Vladimir Zelensky, uh, and uh, their associated partners and teams. Huge, huge strengths to them. Loved you all. Take care. Bye-bye.